Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do my non-dominant hand. If you um, look at my last video, I was doing these and I ended up really liking them. So I'm going to do my non-dominant hand, the same as these, but what I'm gonna do is use one of the other foils. So this is the foil I used for this hand and I'm going to try one of the others. because. In these Betsy box, you get so much that you just can't get through it all. So I thought I'll do one hand one and then one with the other and see how that looks. So I will pop the tips on and then um, we'll start putting the acrylic on and getting it ready. Right, I've got my tips on and um, I said I was going to come back and do the acrylic but of course I have to put the animal print on first. So these are the ones that were in the Betsy box. So I thought I would try. Um, this one. I'll give this one a go. It's got a beautiful holographic background. See if I can catch that in the sun. There we go. Really pretty. So same thing as before, get my McCart foil glue, which I swear by, and just start painting the nails with that. Even though I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter, I still like to just do it first. the surface again like last time so that the glue has a little bit more to grab onto. Remember this is my non-dom got dog hairs <laughs> my non-dominant hand so I'm doing everything backwards now. I am finding it a little oh look at all these dog hairs floating around. I am finding it a little easier than before. Let me just It's, um, I know people say practice and everything, but it really is practice. It's just getting used to it. So I'll do my thumb after. So there they are, I'll just pop those in the lamp. I'm loving this lamp, by the way. It's the um, Michaela, not Michaela, oh. I've forgotten a name now, something Meekin. No, it'll come to me. I can't think of her name. Kirsty. Kirsty Meekin, that's it. And um, her lamp's brilliant. I'm really enjoying using it. Apart from anything else, it's pink when, it, when the lights come on, which is lovely. But yeah, it's a really nice lamp and I'm finding it very handy not having to go over to a socket. You know, I can just take this lamp wherever I want. It does 30, 60 and 90 minutes. When I've when I've finished, if I remember, I can show you again. There we go. So that's been in for a minute. So just like last time, just pop it. Pop it on. And rub. So I'll I'll do this, and then when they've all been rubbed on, I'll come back because I'm sure you don't want to watch me rubbing it on. Okay, so I've got them all on. I'm really really pleased with the quality. They're gorgeous, and um, done my thumb as well. So when I'm doing my non-dominant hand I switch the monomer over to the other side I don't know why I do that it's just what I do so um, some people when they're doing their non-dominant hand they will do the monomer and the powder you know get the bead with the other hand but I still 
get it with the same hand and then switch switch the brush over. I'll show you what I mean. So get my lovely wow bow. I don't think I want to ever use a different brand now. I think this this wow bow is just perfect for me. I'll just tap it down so it's nice and flat. So even though I'm doing this hand, I use this hand to soak the brush. And then I'll get a bead like that, not very big. I tend to work smaller when I'm doing the other hand. Then I swap the brush over. And with the little one, I always pop it down a little bit more to the side. And then just work slowly. Just take a little bit off the side there. Have a look at the little one to sort of check. Make sure it's roughly the same. From what I've seen when I'm learning, they say that the colour isn't the, the strength, the clear powder is the strength. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I think somewhere on one of the videos I've seen them saying that. So I'll just soften it all up with a little bit more monomer because it's a little bit harsh that line. Just take that off there. I am a little bit slower as well with the other. There we go. So, that's that one done. So, again, using the normal hand, I get my bead. Just let that polymise for a few seconds and then pop it down. Try and tuck it in at the cuticles. It's not as easy as it sounds, but filing makes a big difference afterwards. And of course, top coat. So you just Just keep sort of brushing around and then flatten it down. That side's not too bad. Just sort of wet that down a bit. Oh, dog's having a dream. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that or not. Right, there's a little bit here that could do with getting filled in. Now her legs are going, so she's having a proper dream. It's definitely not as good. You know what I've done, don't you? I've done the same mistake. I've got to top coat the foil to protect it from the monomer and I've gone and done it again so <laughs> so I'm just gonna top coat these now I've remembered oh dear me get that terrible terrible memory so the ones that I can save, let's just get some top coat on these. I did this with the other hand and same mistake. I didn't protect the foils. 
So, I think when you're doing things as well, there's that much to remember. It's So I'll just pop that in the lamp. For one minute. Right, I'm back. I put my lamp over there out the way. <laughs> right, so back to this. Using my dominant hand, I get a bead. Pass it over to this hand. and start to bring it down a little bit just pushing a little bit to the sides as I do it and then that sort of melts in Meanwhile, my little dog, or big dog, she's a bull master, has woken herself up with her dream. <laughs> so she must have been chasing a burglar or something. So that's that one. I hope the sun's not stopping you from seeing. I can't quite tell what you can see from here. I'll get another bead. down there there we go pushing it down the sides a little bit Just a thumb. Sorry about that shouting. Criminal Minds is on the telly. If you haven't watched my other videos, um, I'm just saying in it that I'm not a professional. This is just DIY, me having some fun. I find it very relaxing. I think nails are so much fun. I'm not a very arty person, but I do find that can use your imagination a little bit more with nails. I'm just going to put a little bit more on the thumb because it's looking a little bit thin. Not much of a an apex. I mean, you don't use the colour for building an apex. You you do use the clear, they say, but I just want a little bit more on there. Okay, I'm ready to do the clear. I thought I clicked record, but it didn't record, so I've actually done a couple of the nails. So I'll just continue from there. 
So again with my dominant hand, just picking up a clear bead, a couple of taps because I don't want big ones. So like I say I've done those two so I'm just doing the middle nail now. Don't, if you are new, don't put too much pressure on yourself about getting it perfect because it's amazing what a file can do. Just set yourself a lot of time because filing does take a while. But if you've got all day, like me, that's the beauty of breeding. When you're, when you're a dog breeder, you're at home with them all day, every day. So you do have the time and when they're all having their little sleep that's when I've got time to do these. Get the bead. You're supposed to have gravity help as well aren't you? You're supposed to put your nail downwards. Again, easier said than done. Probably easier with doing someone else's nails, but when you're having it downwards and trying to see at the same time, <laughs> it's not as easy. If you, you are new, I recommend uh, starting with smaller beads. Don't don't do that one bead or two bead or don't make that the priority. Just just take your time, like I do, and it it's fun then. practice and learning and, and it really does I mean it, it's like no one's born knowing how to read but we all learn there we go bit of a bigger bead for my thumb knocked that when you're doing really long ones it is easier to knock them try and keep my other fingers out of the way It'd be nice to know where um, my viewers are, my subscribers that have joined me. You could comment below, very welcome to. Just tell me what country you're from. That would be great. Get an idea of who I'm talking to. And thank you. It means so much. I cannot believe I have got the subscribers I've got. It's really encouraging. Once I have enough um, doubles of things that 
that are getting in mystery boxes and things I, I will be saying like I said before I will be doing a, a mystery box one kind viewer has messaged me and told me how to go about setting that up so I will be doing it and it will be for my subscribers that have trusted me there we go I've popped that on So I'm going to let let that dry and then it's file time which I will do off camera so I'll go and have a little break and then I'll be back I've filed and buffed to the best that I can it's it's a lot harder filing the non-dominant hand you can't seem to get the same sort of pressure so it is a little harder, but now it's top coat time, which is my favorite part, because it reveals everything. So we'll do the thumb. No, we'll do the hand. We'll do the hand. Okay. It's even harder when you're trying to do it under the camera. Let's have a go. So that everyone can see. Oh, puppies have woken up. Shush, babies. Oops, thought I'd put some on the brush. And then the thumb. under the lamp and then I'll put cuticle oil on. Right back from the lamp so just Sally Hansen cuticle oil. I just use any cuticle oils that are around. It'd be nice if there was one in one of the boxes. There's a nice big one in the Madame Glam box so that should last me a while. I do use a lot of cuticle oil and hand cream. I just think it keeps your hands nice. So you just rub that in. And there we have, so that's the first ones I did. That's the second. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to have a few days off now. <laughs> so like and subscribe. Um, let me know where you are. That would be great fun. And have a look at the other videos if you want to. And like I said in the other video, if you um, if you have any requests or you want to see what something looks like or you've got any art ideas, not too fancy, I'm not that good, um, just let me know. Just leave a comment, that would be fantastic. Alright, bye bye for now.
See you in the next video. Bye. Just a quick note, I was using base coat as a top coat, so there's a mistake that <laughs> I didn't realise I'd done till I went and sat down. So I've now put top coat on and it's a lot shinier and you can see the holographic. You've probably gone off, but if you are still on the video and you see this, you'll understand. I don't know if the video will actually show that I was using base coat, but mistakes are mistakes, so there you go. Okay, bye.